This video is going to review how to connect your POS 180 to your PLC 400 tablet. And before I begin, it's important that before you do this, you need to make sure that your radio bridge, your POA 116 radio bridge, is already paired to your tablet. I will link in the description how to do that. Uh, this is assuming that your radio bridge is already connected via Bluetooth to your tablet. This is the very easy process. All you have to do is simply go to settings, scroll down to tool and connection, and in tool and connection you're going to see the tool type that you need to make sure you select as the POS 150 or 180. If it's on the PLT 300 you will need to select the POS 150 or 180 and it will prompt you to restart the application. Go ahead and do so and you should be good to go. After you do that I would make sure that you have this auto connect turned on especially if this is a you're using a unit that you will be going back to often. Make sure that in this window you go ahead and select down and you click on the radio bridge unit that it is finding. This will be whatever is connected in your Bluetooth. If you need to verify that you're still connected to your radio bridge, I recommend that you go ahead and click this Bluetooth icon, which will lead you to the Bluetooth settings on your tablet. And you can see here I'm, I am connected. On mine, I know it says setup is incomplete because I'm on a metered connection, but that's just because my Wi-Fi that I have, I have set to be a metered connection, but it is still working. Once you know that you have the tool type selected here correctly and that you have the correct Bluetooth device selected in here as your radio bridge, you can then go ahead and go to your radio channel and sim simply make sure that this radio channel here is the same that is on your head unit. I'm going to go ahead and change this to be a radio channel 23 and you can see I'm now disconnected. I will change it on my head unit and you'll see that it's going to connect once I change it. Okay, so I went ahead and changed my head unit to radio channel 23. Just to kind of reset it, I'm going to click this little button here, re-click that radio bridge, let it load for a second, and now I'm going to wait until these X's disappear. And I did delete a little bit of that video, but it took about five seconds, and this now is connected up here, and the only thing it's waiting for is for me to connect it to a prism, or I can come up here, press this arrow, and just go ahead and start measuring via the laser if I so want to. But that's it. Now you're connected, and you can go ahead and operate your tablet. And one last thing I'll show you is in the tool and connection, you have the option of having a guide light turned on or off. What this is, is the tool is going to blink at you an orange and a green color to let you know if you're not connected to a prism. So you can have that set to auto, meaning that it'll turn off when you are connected to a prism, or it's going to blink at you to let you know that you're not connected. So you can use the light to help you see where the tool is looking so you can bring the prism over to where it needs to be. You can have it turned on, which is going to basically say that the tool is going to be blinking constantly at you. This probably will use a little bit more battery, but if you need to have it on constantly, that is an option. Or you can turn it off. If you don't need to have the guide light at all, you can go ahead and turn it off. Now over here, you have the ability to turn your level on or off. And let me just say, I highly recommend you keep this turned on at all times, because if it's turned on, the tool will warn you when the tool goes out of level. And before it makes any additional measurements, it will force you to re-level the machine before you go on. If for whatever reason you feel like you need to turn this off, just be extremely careful that as you lay out, you are continually looking at the bubble level of your head unit. There's a way you can look at it on the tablet and make sure it stays level. However, in my experience, I just avoid all of that. I keep the level turned on so that it's always warning me when it's out of level. And the tool is basically doing the work to make sure that I stay level throughout the entire job. So I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.